All right, everyone. Today we are back with Wii Sports Resort again, a timeless classic. And as always, as it loads in, fact of the day. So today's fact: ever, anyone who's ever seen a tiger, a picture or otherwise, know that they have stripes in their fur. But did you know that they also have striped skin? So that's pretty crazy that both their skin and their fur is striped. So that's all right. Here we go. Today we will be doing R3 and basketball. Uh, and R3 does require a nunchuck. I got mine right here. Make sure you have yours. Uh, and R3 is up to four players. And you don't have to have four nunchucks. You just have to have one controller with a nunchuck and Wii Motion Plus. And you can do this. Again, you gotta calibrate your controller. So, do that real quick. Alright. So here we go. I'm a big me, obviously. Uh, I've actually played this one a uh, decent amount, so I have all the levels unlocked. I'm just going to show you beginner, because the only thing that varies is the length. As you can see by these things here, which you recognize, they're similar to the ones in the football field. And the wind speed, which you see up here, is one mile an hour. Alright, so if you, if you press A first, then you press Z, that's this one, on the nunchuck, and you pull it back, and you get this, and then you try and center it as much as you can. get a bullseye like I just did so I mean it's pretty straightforward I'll finish off this one but you can see uh how it zooms in and then eventually if you just hold it it starts to flash and then it gets really big so try and shoot it before that happens nine uh but that's really it I mean I will show you the next one. That was the worst shot I did. Seven. Seven. So I got 10, 9, 7. That's 26. That's good. Because the max is 30. All right. So here you see the wind is at 4 miles an hour in a different way, and it's 15 yards. But that's really it. Uh, and then eventually you start aiming Seven. up a little bit more uh, to adjust for gravity and all that. So, like, look at that. Alright, I'm going to end on that note. Alright, so that is archery. That's really all you need to know. Uh, there's really no difference on the other ones. They're just farther and with more weight. Alright, here we go. Basketball. Let's start with three-point contest. This is the top of the list. So, here we go. Uh, a three-point contest is up to four players. But, let's use one. And then, pickup game, which is the last one I'll be doing today, is only two players. Okay, so here we go. You press B to take your ball, hold on to it, and then go up and shoot it like a basketball. So, try and get as much air under as you can. I like to actually jump and make some more real. That ball at the end is actually worth double. So then, I mean, just shoot it like a basketball. All the basketball players out there know what I'm talking about. See how... So look, this is when you don't shoot like a basketball. I mean, look how bad that is. But then shoot like a basketball. Look, you make it... You see, that one is with two. So that's... I mean, that's really it. Alright, so... And then it's like 30 seconds. And then, these end ones are going to be the most difficult, just like when you get basketball. I got 10 points, which, I mean, that's not that many, but... Alright, so that's three-point contest. Pretty straightforward, whoever gets the most points wins. Alright, so now, there is a trick on this basketball. So, pickup game. It's three on three. It's pretty straightforward. As are most of these, games, these uh, Wii Sports games. Which is pretty good because it's easy to pick up and it's fun. Alright, so you see how it's daytime and all that. Alright, watch me restart this. Not continue. And hold two. Hold on. Watch me hold two. Hold on, you gotta do it from the actual menu. Hold on. Not. 
As you can tell, I'm very good at navigating the menu. Just the pointer control getting in the way. Alright. So it has to be on the first part when you do this. Alright. Obviously me, and then again, hold two. And look, now it's night time. So, to play this one, you can switch between night and day, it doesn't really affect anything. So you press the button over the player's head to um, pass it, and then cheating is the same as in people point contest. So, that is really all you need to know. And then, to try and swipe the ball, you swing your remote, but don't fall down because then it can shoot you like that. Uh, last thing is dunking. Let me try and give you an example. So if you get in this blue rectangle, then you can dunk it. That was horrible. Okay, and you can't jump and not shoot it. So if you press B and jump up, you gotta shoot it. Alright, so here we go. They're trying to spawn me. Just gotta move this along real quick for all my subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing. Really appreciate it. Alright, here we go, here we go. I can get around this guy. You can dribble it like this, but they can't swipe it easier while you're doing that, as you just saw. And then try. So if your guy gets it, then you get possession. Uh, and that's really all the rules, unless I can get a dunk going on here. Come on. So if you get around your guy and you jump up, he dunks it. You can miss the dunk, so don't get too overconfident on the dunk. But that's really all there is to do. Uh, please like and subscribe my channel. And uh, as I said in most of my videos so far, please be nice to other people. Have a great day.